Energy bills may be rising, but taking charge of your home's energy use is easier than you think. Bill Breyer with Edison Electric Institute explains. To begin, think of your home as a total energy system. That may sound technical, but all you're really doing is recognizing that one part of your home affects the energy use in another. Start by keeping the sun out on hot days by... Vegans, vegetarians, cucumbers, lend me your mouths. I come to eat Caesar, not to toss him. <coughs> what did you say? It's on? Hello, my name is Emerson. Maybe you didn't know that there are environmental consequences to using electricity. That's understandable considering when you plug something to a wall, it seems clean, right? You don't see or smell any pollution like in a car. But the pollution is there, it just happens at a power plant, not in your house. Most electricity is generated by burning coal and running nuclear power plants. So every time you turn on the lights, you create a little bit of pollution. So saving electricity doesn't just put money in your pocket, it keeps the air and the water clean as well. Keep your eyes glued to learn some new ways to save electricity without sitting around in the dark. Lesson 1. Attack the biggest energy users first. Before we get into the tips on specific appliances, remember one simple thing. You'll save more electricity by dealing with the biggest electricity guzzlers rather than worrying about the items that don't use much electricity. Tell them! It's more important to turn off your air conditioner, 600 to 3500 watts, than the radio on your alarm clock, 5 watts. Tell them! Oh yeah, lizards can't talk. With this in mind, consider the big energy users in your home first, such as air conditioning. Sweet like sugar, but it's rather on the boat tip and it's called Pick and Burger. Now when I am playing, I might not be closer to you, but it's still something we all have to do. Not again. Well, it's kind of obvious the ways you could save energy with an air conditioner. You could use an AC timer, raising the temperature. Try doing it without an AC, you're just using it less. Well, it's kind of obvious if you're not going to be in the room, don't use the air conditioner in there. Um... Replace the old air conditioner, clean the filter, cool your condenser, and um, change your coils at the beginning of each season. Hi. I apologize for any kind of confusion. My hands, when I'm cold or nervous, I rub them on my lap. Now, here at the station, there's been a couple complaints, so they made me crazy glue my fingers together and... Hold on one second. We have an urgent message. Scroll it, scroll it. Sugars. Look what you're doing. Sorry. You just knocked it out of my ear. Two. <coughs> Go away. Just... Hi, welcome back. Um Another way you could save a lot of money is by reducing your use of light. You could save a... K. 
Okay, why is it so high? <laughs> why, why you, the prompter, the prompter, lower the prompter, lower it. I can't see it. Now it looks like I'm going off sides. Do you see this? Do you see the eye movements? Do you see that? No, pull it back. Thank you very much. Well, we can tell you how to save a lot of money on electricity. You messed it up. It's supposed to be save electricity on lighting. Great job. No, no, I know how it is. It's right. Thank you. How to save electricity on lighting. The alternatives are compact fluorescent light bulbs, which are CFLs. Everybody knows about those. You could also install a uh, skylight. You just poke a hole in the ceiling if it comes down to it. For outside lighting, install a motion sensor that turns the light on automatically when somebody walks up and turns the light off automatically after one to five minutes. These cost about $10 at any near wholesale store. Install motion sensing switches and automatically turn lights on and off throughout the house. You could also turn off the lights when you're not using them. It's common sense. Even if it's just a few minutes, it could save you a lot on your bill. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Cut. I said cut. You don't have to be surprised by your next heating bill. It's possible to take charge of your home's energy use without spending a lot of money. The even better news is that you have help, your electric utility. The first thing to do is look for gaps around doors, windows, pipes, and other areas. Seal them up using caulk or weather stripping. Next, set the thermostat at 68 degrees during the day and 60 degrees overnight and when no one is home. For each degree you can turn down your thermostat you'll save 3% on your heating bill. Also, clean your air filter each month. And don't forget about water heating. It's your home's second largest energy user. Set the water heater's temperature at 120 degrees. Also, wash and dry full loads of clothes. For more help, call your electric utility, check out their website, or visit Edison Electric Institute, www.eei.org. You'll find lots of free advice on how to get more value from your energy dollar. Stop. There you go, man. I'm done. I'm done. I find it a little bit hypocritical that it took me six, seven hours to finish this whole project. Waste of the energy. Space, and this is how the message ran. 